Hi guys, it's Eddie here from Eddie Finance. Today I'm going to teach you five best ways to invest your $1,000. The reason why I choose $1,000 is because $1,000 is an amount that is pretty much achievable to be saved up by everyone. If you are a student just starting out, you can always work additional part-time hours to save up that $1,000 in the next couple of days or couple of weeks. If you are professionals, uh, a full-time employee just like me, you can normally save $1,000 pretty easily as well. And the second reason I choose $1,000, uh, for those of you that know me, you probably know that I have a newborn daughter of two weeks old and I actually put aside $1,000 uh, to invest for my daughter's futures as well. So I'm going to tell you what is the best way to do it and what I'm planning to do with that $1,000. And I actually made an interview with a couple of friends as well just to get an idea and opinion of what people are doing with their money. So I'm going to tell you how people are doing it and what's the best way that you can choose uh, as an option to invest your $1,000. So here are a couple of answers that I got from my friends. Chloe, Selvins and Roger suggesting to invest in the long term and put that $1,000 into share market. Um, the second answer comes from Helen. Helen suggesting to use that $1,000 to pay off the debt. And if you have paid off the debt, any remaining money that you have, you can just go and enjoy your life. Go and do shopping and do whatever you want to do with your own money. The third uh, suggestion from Jason is to invest that $1,000 into a business, trying to create a product and trying to sell it online. Um, that's a suggestion from Jason's. The fourth answer is from the Pali. The Pali suggests to just leave the money of a thousand into a fixed term deposit, let the money work hard for you, let the money make the interest for you, and let the interest compound in the long term. The fifth answer is from Janal. Janal suggesting to invest in uh, cryptocurrency, so things like Bitcoins, Litecoin. This is something very new for me as well. Uh, I've once watched a video on uh, YouTube from Mark Melbourne TV and he's teaching people how to uh, invest in cryptocurrency and this is something that literally uh, makes me very interested and I really want to learn and explore more of that as well. And the last answer uh, comes from my wife and from also Crystal, my friend as well. They're both suggesting to invest in REIT, R-E-I-T. So REIT is a real estate investment trust. Um, a REIT basically is a company that own uh, an income producing commercial or retail uh, real estate. So um, a retail one will be like invest in bricks.com. So bricks in the website is B-R-I-C-K-X.com. So you can uh, purchase a piece of the property and uh, earn the money from the rental yields and also the capital gain from that uh, money invested in the long term. Or if you invest rate in the commercials, um, there will be a couple of rates, uh, real estate investment trust that invest in uh, offices, in hotels, airports. So those are the commercials that uh, also let you earn the money from the rental yield and also the capital gain. As you can see, there are many answers available that you can choose from and options to invest your $1,000. No one should really tell you how you should invest your $1,000 best because you know yourself better. You have your different risk tolerance compared with other people. You have your different priority. You need to know what kind of life stages that you're in. Are you a single person? Are you a housewife? Are you a professional? Are you a pensioner? You know your status better. So. Those are the answers to my friend. I'm going to give you my best five from now. Number one. As you all know, all of my videos are all about how to save money, how to make more money. 
and uh, nothing better than living a debt-free life if you have a debt a personal loans a car loans students loans credit card loans it is best to use that one thousand dollars and get rid of all of those debt that you have once you have a debt-free life you can enjoy yourself better you can do whatever you want to do you can invest the money you can save the money do whatever you want to do but first thing is to pay off your debt number two the second option is to build up emergency fund it is very important to have an emergency fund saver if you have not already done so and i also talk about this in my last video as well um, how much emergency fund you should have it's between three months and nine months and it depends on your lifestyle if your lifestyle is two thousand dollars a month you will need at least three months which is a six thousand between six thousand to about eighteen thousand if you haven't already done so please use your $1,000 and save it up as an emergency fund to cover any unexpected expenses that you are not covered. Number three. The third thing is to invest in yourself and nothing better than investing in yourself. And this is what I've done with $1,000 this year when I save up the money as well. I'm passionate about finance. So I enrolled myself and studied the financial planning for the one year online study and that is the best thing that I have ever done uh, with a thousand dollars for this year with that uh, study it opened up a lot of opportunity a lot of understanding and it makes me more aware of the uh, financial situation that I'm currently living in and I always um, trying to find a way to improve it and because of I invested in myself number four the next one is to choose one of the options that my friend has just quoted invest in the share market make sure you have the right mindset approach buying a stock as you're buying a piece of a business focus on the long term invest in the REIT real estate investment trust let the money work hard for you let the money earn the rental yield and let the money earn the capital gain for you invest in the term deposit there's nothing wrong with it let the money work hard for you and let the interest compound invest in the cryptocurrency if you want to and that's something new it's it's literally it's still an infant stage that uh, people are still exploring and a lot of institutional um, or fund managers are starting to focus on the cryptocurrency as well it might boom a thousand may get you a hundred thousand in the next 10 years who knows about it number five my last five best option is to invest the money into your super account let the fund manager in your super company invest the money for you you just have to sit back relax earn the money and the profit and enjoy the money when you retire um, the benefit of investing the money in super is whatever the money generated or income generated from the investment itself it's only taxed at a maximum of 15 percent tax rate rather than your um, normal marginal tax rate depends on your incomes per year so those are the options available for my friends and I've given you my best five as well. Let me know when was the last time you have a thousand dollars to invest and what would you have done before watching this video? Does this video make you change your mind in terms of the investment that you can choose for? Leave the comments below and remember to share with your friends and family um, so people can have an idea what they're going to do with a thousand dollars as well. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to get more upcoming videos like this. Until next time, ciao.